Hello! Today, we will be discussing about the division of polynomials. I'm so excited! Let's get started! There are two cases for dividing polynomials. Either the division, which is really just a simplification and you're just reducing a fraction on the process of long polynomial division. Let us go to our first example. 21x cubed minus 35x squared divided by 7x. There are two methods to solve this. The first method is to split the division into two fractions, each with only one turn on top, and then reduce. Or you could factor out the common factor from the top and bottom, and then cancel off. Either way, the answer is just the same. 3x squared minus 5x. Ooh, that's so cool! And it's so easy! Okay, let's move on to a harder one. Here's an example. Divide x squared minus 5x minus 10 by x plus 1. How are you going to do this? The first method we will use will be the long division method. First, I set up the division. For the moment, I'll ignore the other terms and look just at the leading x of the divisor and the leading x squared of the dividend. If I divide the leading x squared inside by the leading x in front, what would I get? You'd get an x? Correct. So, I'll put an x on top. Now, I'll take that x and multiply it through the divisor x plus 1. First, I'll multiply the x on top by the x on the side and carry the x squared underneath. Then, I'll multiply the x on top by the 1 on the side and carry an x underneath. Then, I'll draw the equals bar so I can do the subtraction. To subtract the polynomials, I change all the signs in the second line. And then, I add down the first term. The x squared will cancel out. I need to remember to carry down the last term to subtract 10 from the dividend. Now, I look at the x from the divisor and the new leading term, the negative 10x in the bottom line of the division. If I divide the negative 10x by x, one would end up with a negative 10. So I'll put that on top. Now I'll multiply the negative 10 on top by the leading x on the side and carry the negative 10x to the bottom. And I'll multiply the negative 10 on top by the 1 on the side and carry the negative 10 on the bottom. I draw the equals bar and change the signs on all terms in the bottom row. Then, I add down. The solution to this division is x minus 10. Ooh, I understand now. Thank you! If you enjoyed this video, punch the like button and we will see you in the next video. Bye!